Over the last week, we have been bombarded with loads of new tech from loads of big name brand manufacturers. However, I'm here to test an iron which no one has heard about, no one is testing, no one is reviewing, and I think that is a bit of a mistake. I have finally sourced this iron. It's very difficult to get any information on this iron, let alone seeing it in the flesh, but it's from one of my most favorite brands of golf clubs. Not that much hype, not that much marketing, and just relies on good club building. Yet this brand is normally tended to the beginner golfer. This model, however, definitely isn't. Trying to get hold of it, information of it, especially seeing it in the flesh, is extremely difficult. But today, I definitely have it. And it is another video down at my local American Golf, but I've been very busy planning, building. I'm gonna show you some images because the studio is coming along. Chris and Gary came in yesterday to do the flooring, and the place is definitely taking shape. So sorry for the lack of uploads. And I promise you this isn't a sponsored video for American Golf, as it might seem that as last week we did an outrageous video when it came to secondhand X demo club sale. A lot of you took advantage of that, which we'll get into in a minute. But the price point of this particular iron, especially from the brand, is a lot lower than the rest. It's not cheap, don't get me wrong, but I'll still talk about how you might be able to get hold of this for next to nothing, potentially in a year or so. So let's go in, let's go and have a look at the X demo stock as well. And if you do like this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's go and have a look. There's definitely been a thinning of X demo stock since I was last here. here is what is left. There's a couple of a few TSIs, mind you, they've gone back up in price. They're now 229, um, uh, which to be honest is still a great price. Got a couple of left-handers for you guys out there that play the opposite way, still at the 189 price. And then that Stealth HD still in here, but definitely been a thinning. I think from the comments, a lot of you have grabbed deals, but it really depends on what American Golf and how big the store is, whether you were able to find those deals. But it really did make me happy seeing all the comments of people watching the video, going, finding outrageous price for some of these clubs, and then obviously coming back and commenting on the video. Also, this is relatively exciting. On the shelf already, Ping G430. Obviously won't be testing that until it drops half in price and ready for the channel, but it's always exciting to see new clubs in the flesh. Now, I first heard about this club on Rick's podcast with Guy, and Guy was actually the person that's discovered this club when he was up at Trafford Golf Centre. And ever since listening to that podcast, I've been on the hunt to try and source this club because it is from one of my favorite manufacturers, Ben Ross. And you guys that watch the channel a lot will know how much of a fan I am of Ben Ross, mainly because it's great brand for that beginner golfer, but especially when it comes to the second hand market, they just don't do that well. They don't carry the same appeal in the second hand market, such as like your Mizuno irons, which hold their price incredibly well. And one of the big differences, I think, since I've done a last review on Ben Ross clubs or talked about their drivers, irons, whatever it might be, is American Golf do actually own Ben Ross out through. Hence why you can only get this club from themselves. Hence why I am here. But unlike some of the bigger name brand counterparts, such as this Mizuno Pro, and I'll put down the price of what a four to pitching wedge in this particular iron would cost, four to pitching wedge in this Ben Ross, well, CB iron starts at 699. And as I mentioned, that's not cheap, cheap. And there's a lot of good alternatives in the second hand market that you'll be able to get the similar feel, style, and looks from for a lot less. The only difference with this one is, well, you're gonna be able to get fitted for it. But I say fitted for it in the loose term as this is extremely limited. Trying to find an American Golf that actually has the fitting elements of this club, and I'll leave a list of places that you can go and get fitted for it, is extremely low. Which surprises me because at the price point, even though a bit more expensive than what I normally talk about on this channel, it's still a lot less than the big name brands offering the same kind of stuff. Forged, carbon steel, and let's be honest, a pretty outrageous look. But let me tell you the motive of making this video because even though it's cheaper than all the big name brands, it's still 99 pounds a club. Which let's be honest, isn't cheap cheap, even though it's cheaper than everything else. My thought and reasoning is that there's a lot of heads and a lot of shafts of this circulating somewhere 
in the UK. And if it does follow the same suit as most Ben Ross traditional clubs, i.e. they don't perform that well in the second hand market, this right here could be one of the best pickups in a year, two years time. Once they've been out circulated in the public, sold, because let's be honest, it's still a good price point for a brand new fitted iron, but when people upgrade or change or get rid of them, I think this is gonna be one of the best second-hand CB advanced player irons that's potentially gonna be out on the market when it comes to second hand. So the Mizuno Pro is the iron I want to test against the BR Pro today for a few reasons. Number one, price is a lot more expensive than the Ben Ross Pro. So do we feel that in terms of feel, forgiveness, sound, you name it. Number two, the loft is similar, 32 degrees loft on both of these irons. And if you compare that to let's say the Orca RS10, which looks very similar to this, and the fact I haven't got the Orca RS10 in my hands, the Orca is at 36 degrees loft, a lot more traditional when it comes to that kind of seven iron spec. And lastly, Mizuno is known for this particular head type in my personal eyes. That CB iron, that very small cavity back blade looking club. Therefore, I'm looking for that ability to have control over the ball flight. Still having an element of forgiveness on those off center shots like that. <laughs> right, Mizuno Pro up first. Let's try and find the middle. Now this is the first time hitting the Mizuno Pro. Oh, and that is rifled. And it's everything I expect from a Mizuno iron. But would I be able to say I could tell the difference between this and let's say the 919 Tor iron? Well, not really. It looks great, it feels great, but so is everything that Mizuno brings out. And to be fair, now looking at the BR Pro, it looks a tiny bit bigger, chunkier, but there's no surprises there. The Mizuno is always going to perform great, hence why the price and the trust that a lot of golfers have in the brand. Therefore, does this Ben Ross Orca looking carbon steel iron produce similar feel, sound, and performance. Right from the get-go, even though both of these clubs have got the same shaft, the Ben Ross Pro feels a lot lighter. And I'm not gonna say that's a good or bad thing. That strike, however, I would say is very good. And also that one. Right, I've hit shots with both, and I've come to a bit of a verdict. Out the middle, I can't tell the slightest bit of difference between the both, and to be perfectly honest, I get great flights from both. They do exactly what you're after when it comes to this kind of CB iron. Looks like a blade, but gives you a tiny bit of forgiveness behind it. However, the point of these irons is that you're not looking for off-center shots. If you're looking for ultimate forgiveness, you're looking for something like these, the cavity backs. The type of player that would look for this particular iron, or let's say grow into, isn't thinking of anything but out the middle. And to be perfectly honest, out the middle with the same shaft and same head, both of them perform really well. Here's one of the big reasons why I wanted to make this video because I love second-hand equipment. At 699 for to pitch in wedge, the price of these are okay for what they are and to be fair, can keep up with the big boys. That being said, if this BR Pro Forged Iron follows the same trait as the older Ben Ross models and does reach the second-hand market in volumes, if this came down to 399, 359, under 300 pounds in two, three years, this is a great steal, not only for looks, 
but for sound, strike, feel off the middle of the club face. And for a lot of you guys that have got that cavity back iron, starting the game and in a couple of years thinking, you know what, I probably need to upgrade to something a tiny bit more ball flight orientated. This is something that I definitely think you should keep your eye on. And to be honest, I don't feel like this is gonna be the last time I'm testing the BR Pro on the channel. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. And if you do want to see my last video, American Golf with the X Demo Sale, and to be honest, just to see what I think is the best 2022 driver with all the new stuff coming out and the prices that you can get them for, check this video up here on the left-hand side. Catch you guys later.